Okay, Assalamualaikum and good afternoon. I'm uh, sorry, there's uh, there's some um, technical issues. Try to fix. Already fixed. Okay. So welcome back to the class uh, for the second session for the second day in the second week. Okay. So let's start with a new, new what what you call it? New spirit. Eh? New spirit. Okay, we are going to continue uh, from the last session. Uh, from the last session, I think I touched already uh, about the geometry of the Earth, geometry of the Sun, and uh, some explanation regarding the four seasons, regarding the uh, Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn. Okay, we have finished that. So now we are going to proceed to the next step, which is uh, the calculation of the tilting angle or the solar attitude. So at this phase, so we are going to start to play with some values. Okay, mm -hmm. don't worry because uh, we are not using the Laplace transform or Fourier or Ohm's law. Uh, Ohm's law, yeah, maybe a little. Uh, we're not using the newton Redson or so, uh, Gossidon or something like that. Like, just very simple calculation that you need to understand. Uh, I believe everybody can understand it well. Okay. Uh, All right. Before we go to that place, so let's uh, look at this. This is what we call global solar radiation map. Again, I don't know which year of this data. I just take from the previous slide just put in here but what i'm going to say here is over in order to be able to estimate the yield of photovoltaic plant already presentation necessary to obtain the data of global radiation it's very important to have the data of global radiation okay can be obtained through internet uh, or some data for the Malaysia case maybe we need to take it from the met Malaysia, or there's some software called as PVCs, and that software can generate the interpolation values of the radiation value, irradiation value for a year, okay, for months and a year lah. Okay, now the global radiation value, I will that show this statistic in higher solution. So they say this is many of years measurement, uh, network of measuring stations, satellite pictures and simulation tools. Uh, the most accurate one is the measuring stations lah. It's very subjective and depends on the location. I think I I I I saw like website in 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 Seda, but I tried to search it back. I cannot find the link. There's a you can check. There's several stations that show the recent, the current, very current values of the irradiance. If I uh, found it back. Then I will uh, get back to you, lah. Okay. If I I I found the link back, so I check it. You got right. So this radiation of Malaysia again. Disclaimer here. I'm not sure which year of this data. Uh, this is the example of the historical in certain year in Malaysia. So irradiation. Uh, irradiation means that we have the the hour there, which is the total integrated value of irradiance for a day okay and then it is taken as average okay average value so here you can say also this values is, is also called as a what psh this is also called as psh pixel hours which means that the maximum value in this year in this measure 5.56 is the uh, the most uh, highest irradiation obtained in Malaysia case in that particular area uh, in that particular year. Okay, I think the lowest one is 4.21, and the average value is 4.96. So that's why before, if you take the what we call uh, the average value of percent hours per day in Malaysia. You can assume four hours. I think it's not the sinful things if we assume four hours per day. Okay, that's easy for the calculation and assumptions of estimating the energy generation in our case. Okay, in the some places, 
what we call that the bright not the brighter uh the darker the color is so the highest the irradiance lah the highest the irradiation values can be obtained okay if we look at this particular uh, graph lah okay now we are going to the side analysis okay we are doing at side analysis uh they write some some values some uh what we call that some angles name of the angles okay this is assume let's assume this is the solar panel so this is all example of solar module okay and this is surface state so this is the state angle and this is the azimuths okay and we have the sun azimuths and we have the sun height or we call that as the solar altitude and so on uh the important things uh you can you can google us uh, azimuth was the sun azimuth the surface azimuth the important things is the this one the t angle and also for the solar attitude angle okay max performance is achieved when modules are perpendicular to the sun rays which is 90 degree to the sun rays uh the most ideal one is to track it using the solar tracker for every time it is facing towards the sun perpendicularly that is the most ideal system lah, in order to get the maximum performance or the maximum values of generated current or power okay so that's why it's very important two things is pv mode direction and orientation and the second one is state angle okay uh i think most cases for the they are treated all the modules are treated but on top of the roof uh most cases it will depend on the declination of the the angle the angle of the roof itself how much the angle is declined uh, sometimes we just follow the shape of the roof because we don't want to complicate the structure if we try to tilt it certain direction while our roof shape is not that plain plain planar it's not planar that one's may, may be difficult do you understand what i'm saying for example uh if our house this planner then i think this one is easy for you to set the angle lah, to set up the angle but if we have the normal typical house like like this shape eh? okay like this shape so either this direction or this direction is totally depends on the on your location on, of your house lah. And that's why it's not always correct or good decision to install the solar system on your uh, house roof okay you need to know the orientation you need to know the sunrise and the sunset direction that is very important lah. okay for instance we are in the north northern hemisphere okay we are in northern hemisphere so our module will tilt towards the south okay toward the south which is towards the equator then uh, we are not facing to the east or to the west we must facing to the south when we face to the south we are going to receive the energy or the the module can see can see uh, can receive the energy from the sunrise to the sunset okay you understand what i'm saying can you understand what I'm saying or not? Uh, okay. Huh? Uh, uh. Yes, yeah. Okay. Not really not really. Really. Yeah, all day kena dapatkan matahari lah. Maksudnya, yang tu yang doktor masukkan tadi kan? Yeah, make sure we are facing... TV tu, uh -huh. oh, yeah. dapat matahari setiap hari. Okay, like this. Of course, we need to have the direction, the place that you want to install the solar module. So, must you have to make sure that it can face to the sun it can uh, it can get the sun rays throughout the day means not only until midday okay the most i think the most common uh, what we call it the no no eh, the no mistake okay the no mistake for example eh, uh, 
Okay. Imagine our house like this. Eh? This is our house. Okay, our house. Right? Eh, macam mata. <laughs> okay. Let's say, uh, the sun rise is this direction, which is this, the east. Then it will uh, set. The sun is going to be set at the west. Eh? So this west. Eh? Maghrib. Eh? Maghrib. Ilal Maghrib. Eh? Min Fajr ilal Maghrib. Then this is the west. Okay. So that's the direction of the Qibla. Eh? Okay. I'm asking the question. Is it okay if I put here? The Salam modules. Not no. okay. Why not okay? Sebab bila apa? Sebelah je. Sebelah je. Sedang sebelah sana tak dapat. Sebelah lagi tak dapat. The answer. Ah. Kenapa kita tak letak atas satu tu? Kan dekat dia pun, ni, puncak tu. Boleh? Puncak, yes. Puncak is the best lah. But you can, this is from figure, you can say like that lah. Easily. If in the real situation, how can you do the puncak kan? Okay, okay, <laughs> I understand. Eh? It's not suitable eh, to put it. Okay, lah, okay, fine, fine. Okay, uh, let's say I put half half lah. What about this? Is it okay? Half half. No. Why? Did what? I was talking using the Muzamil. Muzamil. The sound is not clear. Very far. I hit very far. Can you make it closer? Can not clear. Uh, oh, only me. Can any anybody other 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 people can see clearly? Can you clearly? Muzami can uh, use uh, chat chat box. Muzami can use chat box. Oh, chat box. Okay. Okay, we're waiting for the for the writing type. Please type, please type. Uh, uh, I'm asking, Ahmad Daniel, is it okay if I put half, half modules here and half module over there, the right side? Why? Uh, understanding that the the sun, uh, the sun orientation though, from the east to the west, like that direction, is it is it okay for me to install? I'm asking the basic, very not basic, uh, common common sense. We are trying to uh, make it uh, common sense. Is it okay? You say that be the punya effective tak sangat kot. Oh, effective tak sangat what do you mean by effective tak sangat lah. <laughs> Apa yang tak effective? Both yeah, dia punya we get both. Um, bridge tak output tak, tak sampai kot. Rasanya sebab dia punya peak kan tak, tak kalau waktu petang kan tak tinggi sangat rasa. Uish, tak apa juga. Kalau, kalau kita tengok uh, solidation yang bell shape tu, the concept macam ni yang basic. Betul? So dia means that symmetrical kan? Macam symmetrical. It is symmetrical. So half, half, kalau if you put in the same location, maybe you get in the morning here and uh, the other side is, is the right side. Eh? So okay lah. Ya. Saya rasa output dia sama je. Output sama? Okay. So Ada basically it depends upon intensity of sunlight to get maximum C. We have a light in panjang pula ah. We have a light in as per movement of sun along the tattoo. Hmm. Uh, the intensity of sunlight, intensity of the sunlight, I think, uh, yeah, we have the bell shape, the, the, what we call the irradiation distribution is this bell shape, of course. Uh, Ah, efficiency, efficiency. If using solar tracker, then maybe okay lah. Movement of sun, uh, sun is per movement. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Depends upon intensity. Let, let's say the intensity of light is, is the same. For example, sunny days, but the direction is still the same. Is it is it okay? I'm asking the Muslim again. Uh, using this, this account, I mean, is it okay? I mean, this, this, uh, if we, we, we are doing to this, uh, we are going to proceed with this uh, setup, is it okay? That's, that's my question. Suitable or not? 
or half suitable or totally agree with that internet says that it's best to place to the south it's best to place at the south at the south at the south what do you mean by at the south put to the south which one it's because for those of the living in the northern hemisphere the sun is always along the southern part of the sky as we complete our yearly orbit around okay okay close the answer is close closer lah uh. so it means ganesh you didn't agree with this setup or you have agree with this or you totally disagree with this uh, Actually, i don't understand what the internet is saying place at the south so how do we know which side to replace south yeah you need to, you need to know the direction i mean if if you said south east west where's the south saturn the south saturn this one the yeah. direction is north so you're yeah. saying facing to the south facing here yeah your answer is it's actually a uh, good answer for me because facing to the south because in northern then you say as facing to the south so means that this direction is it okay my question this direction if i put solar module is half east half west is it okay um, if you ask me i just put either side it's okay sir so my bad hand will be put at the east because uh yeah the uh, sun nights about the moon i'm oh, sorry the day is nights about the moon so okay kita kena dapat uh dapat um, optimum sunlight lah okay so okay lah but still still can install the kind of uh direction or it the best is facing to the south but this orientation also okay okay sir okay okay that's your answer okay panjang aku tak jelas tanya boleh lah tanya uh there is there is there kalau yes yeah you okay tapi not cost cost effective not effective. you say is okay but not cost effective so so you saying uh, not very efficient ah uh. not very efficient and uh but still okay you can still install eh that that's your thinking eh? yeah yeah okay okay and uh, and asking other people yeah eh? Tak boleh nak jawab dulu sebelum aku petik nama. Mardia. Mardia. Mardia Afrika Amira. Tod. Terok. Eh, apa lagi? Ain Izati. Yes, sir. Is it okay? This setup? Ah, uh, saya rasa dia pun saya sama dengan orang lain juga. Kurang efektif. Kurang efektif but still can install. Macam tu kan? Ah, uh, boleh still boleh install tapi ah. Uh, Sebab saya pun rasa kalau belah petang matahari dah tak kuat. So belah yang belah kanan tu akan kurang dapat. Who says that? Uh, Who says that? Ni ni ni. Ni 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 This is the normal distribution for solar array. Ini bukan saya buat-buat lah. Ini macam typical. Uh, even if you see dia memang macam symmetrical. Okay, mungkin ada atas bawah. If you face in the same direction atau dia punya distribution memang bell shape lah. Iridian memang uh, slower. Early in the morning, lesser. Getting to the midday is going up. Peak hour around 1pm, 2pm maybe. 3-4 then start to decrease until maghrib. So this is the, the shape. So if you say that the petang is not that much generated, I think it's not totally correct. I can say it's almost the same. The pattern is almost the same. If you look at the, this bell shape, eh? it's almost the same. Ah. Maybe the time is different. Ah. Near to the 7, is reduced. Early in the morning, 7.30 maybe. Then maybe it come 9, it's going half. But at the end, I think if we divide into two, you get half, you get half like that. Eh? Tapi you still kata uh, still effective eh? Saya tanya seorang lagi. Saya tanya seorang lagi. Siti Fadila.
Siti Fadilah. Ah, tak ada. Sudah. Syahmi Hafiz. Isai ya? Ha, macam mana? Saya punya pendapat ah. Ha. Pendapat je, tak apa. Pendapat je. <laughs> saya setuju dengan Pak Is dari Duan. Siapa tu? Duan dah kan power dia sama. Okey. Maksudnya we can get maximum power power dapat jugaklah. Sama ha, power dapat ke install. Tapi tak tak maksimum ah ha, untuk power tu. Power dapat tapi tak maksimum. Ah sudah. <laughs> power dapat. Okey, power dapat but not maksimum lah. Ah ha. because of this direction ah. Ha. Maybe. I mean okay. okay. Okay, this is my answer. If you ask me I'm going to stop uh, to stop to ask the contractor to pull it down. I'm not going to install if in this direction. What do you think is the reason? Okay, maybe half of you are correct. Uh, we can still get energy but not maximum. Why? During the, the during AM, uh, maybe like this, uh, AM we get the left side, PM at the right side. Means the left side will be generated before noon. The right side will be generated after noon, right? So means that we get half half lah. Uh, this is not good lah. Why I say this is not good? It's going to be a very super shaded at the left side afternoon. In the morning, the right side will be shaded because the sunlight is blocked. When the panel is shaded, you are not going to half. You are not going to get the half another half lah. So you only get half in the morning, half afternoon. Uh. The best direction, like Nafal said, the best one lah. I think ah, the best one ah. Uh, put here, plane. Ah, uh, that plane. Straight line. When we pull like that, we are going to get all time sunlight. Contoh. So this is contoh. Morning, afternoon, evening. Everything can be generated because the facing is plane. Planar. I mean the, the vertical, vertical. Horizontal. Horizontal so they can get Of course, the angle is different, but still, still facing lah, still facing. I mean, still in the direction. But for this case, eh, if you see like this, during AM, eh, the sunlight is here, so it's totally shaded. There will be no, almost no generated energy. You can see from during the AM. So mid half half. It's not good, lah. It's not good. The correct way, like uh, your brother say here. Is facing to the south. Okay, facing to the south. It's not only plane, but we are facing to the south. When we facing to the south, we can see from the south, we can see east to west in front of us. Understand? If we facing to the south, our left hand side we're going to east. Yeah. Oh no no, left hand side uh, west. Left hand side west and uh, uh, our right hand side is the east. During the day, during the day, we can see the uh, imagine eh? you are facing, you are not facing south. Okay, you're facing south like this. So in your left side, left side, you are going to see the sun during the morning. At the morning, uh, near the Maghreb. Evening, you can see the sun is now moving to the right, right hand side of your hand. And that's why, but for the whole day, you are going to feel the sunlight, the sun rays throughout the day. Uh, then this direction is okay. You can get whole day generation. So we can get not that maximum, but we still can generate for the whole time. Uh, that's why the facing is very important. If you have this kind of roof, That's why you have to very sure, you have to make sure the direction of the sunlight. Okay, in, in Malay, we call that panas pagi, panas petang semua kan? Kan dia panas pagi, panas petang kalau kat rumah kan? 
So that panas pagi, panas petang tu, you need to know direction lah. If you stay there for the whole day, eh, if you, uh, for example, your, your, your parent buy a new house, bungalow or semi-detached house, semi and then you stay there for several days, then you're going to know eh, which one is the panas pagi, which one is the panas petang. I think, siapa tadi? Uzamil eh? Oh, Bilal. Panas pagi means the... How can I? We have term that panas pagi. Sun, morning sun, ha, morning sun and the evening sun. Like that lah. Ha. So what if the solar panel are attached with motors so that can track? Yeah. That's the best. That's why I'm saying if attached to the motor, we call that as the solar tracker. Ha. That solar tracker that who IED groups are well, now doing the IED groups. I think lots of groups using the solar tracker, solar tracker and so on. That's one of the reasons to maximize the generation every time. So the idea is uh, it can rotate lah. Rotate, uh, rotate throughout the day kan. It follow the sun direction kan. The sun movement. Uh, that one is the best. Seriously. Solar tracker is the best lah. But different issues because you need auxiliary energy resources to power up the motor. The motor need to turn kan. By time. Then you need the maybe microcontroller to move by the time or servo motor like that a big servo motor to move the panel and because the panel is heavy that you need to use the high top motor that is different the cost is different the added plus added cost for the motor that's why yeah. so the grid is the best if not the issue of cost we can if the motor is free then use solar tracker lah okay Boleh. Understand? That's the first basic of basic of the direction. So, jadi untuk kalau bentuk rumah macam tu jadi antara jawapan Nofal tadi kan, Sir? Yeah. Facing to the south because we are in the northern hemisphere. Facing to the south but with certain degree. If I'm not mistaken, uh, I didn't check the latest one. 8 to 15 degrees to the south, maybe. Like that. Later will confirm, okay. But that one is the plan. If the planner lah, planner, planner. I mean the planner, uh, the planner surface. Uh, if for example in Gambang, man, Gambang you, you can see in, uh, at the Gambang. I mean the LPT, the LPT highway, the Bulalir Pantai Timur highway. Then uh, if you're facing to the KL, you see the left side. They they have uh, 50 megawatt of the solar solar farm. Man that is owned by the UITM Sha'alam, for example. So that one, because hilly, hill, hill, uh, it's very difficult for them to get the same direction of the uh, module lah, due to the shape of the hill. Uh, sometimes maybe even though issue facing to the south, I think maybe slightly to the north, there is possibility, there is possibility. Eh? But since they are using the inverter, uh, the MPPT inverter, the grid inverter, even in the different direction so we can still generate, we can still maximize the output power. Okay. Uh, I'm not saying this is not good, but it's not that, uh, uh, what we call it, clever. <laughs> if this kind of shape, lah, I mean steep, steep, steep roof. If the uh, roof is not that steep, means that if the roof like this, eh, uh, uh, are more, what we call it, I think this is still okay lah, still okay to use or you jack some higher part to try to make it like this eh? Very difficult. Okay. Okay. So, uh, let's go back to this picture. <laughs> I haven't explained yet anything. Okay. So, assume this is a module. So, the module, this is the sunlight. So, direct radiation, deflated radiation, blah, blah, blah. Diffuse. Uh, and the pitch solar generator and this beta is the thick angle okay pitch roof so that the module is an angle beta so this beta is the thick angle also in the case of the roof or open air plants it is usual to take the modules in order to achieve a higher annual yield okay higher annual yield understand eh? why, why, why we are facing to the south throughout the day we still can get the energy eh? without shedding 
Uh, Sir, so yeah. kalau dia face to the not, dia bukan sama macam South ke Sir? Eh, lain sikit. Uh, dia macam Sebab kan nanti kan dia boleh dapat sahaja matahari daripada East to the West kan? So, dia dia just facing uh, dia, dia si, uh, ke not sikit. Eh tak, okay, okay. okay. Understand. Uh, dia macam ni. Kau facing to the South, doesn't mean that the sun that is up uh, atas awak tu. Dia bukan not above you. Okay. Dia mungkin kesana sikit. Faham tak? Dia kesana sikit. Hmm, okay, okay, okay. Uh, dia, faham kan? Uh, faham kan? Mata dia bukan tegak betul atas kepala kau. Yang tu ada satu tahun yeah. dia. I think that one September 21st. Uh, September hmm. 21st and March 21st. Tegak atas kepala. Hmm, But okay, kan okay. Kita, kita dah belajar kan? 23, 25, uh. not south kan? Hmm. Kan dia hmm. turun naik, turun naik sikit-sikit kan? Uh, nampak uh. Okay, okay, sir. Tapi, there's, uh, there's uh, during the equinox tu, dia yeah, atas kepala betul. Itu yang orang cari kiblat uh, pun sama juga kan. Bila matahari tu betul-betul, on top of the Kaabah tu, there's a day lah. Where's the location? That, that's why people are facing that end. So, at the time yang betul-betul west, betul-betul atas-atas matahari, that's why kita tengok. Ada dalam satu tahun, there's one day in 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 a year where the location of the sun will be on top, uh, just just above the, exactly above the Kaabah. At certain time, at the time people are facing to that relation kan. Same case with that kan. It doesn't mean atas kepala. But basically memang kau nampak ke depan. Kan? Kau nampak ke depan kiri, to the uh, left to the right lah. Macam ni kan. Kau buat ni kan. Ha. Kat stadium kan apa. Ha. Lambai-lambai. Konsep ni tu lah. Ha. Dia bukan atas kepala. Boleh. Kalau facing not tu kau terbalik. Kau pusing belakang. Eh faham kan? Pusing belakang. Okay, faham, faham. Ha. Kau membelakangi kan. Membelakangi matahari kan. Kan kelah kau. Ha. Yeah, they, they can generate. They, they can still generate because you can see sunlight. I mean, the bright. The day is bright, and eh? the day is bright. We still can can get light, but not facing to the sun directly. So when not facing to the sun directly, you cannot maximize your output gen- generation. Uh. That's why target we are facing to the sun. We are following the sun. That's the function of the solar tracker, following the sun movement. Okay. Any question? Come on, come on. Give me a key question. Sure. Uh, okay. uh, kalau yang solar tracker tu, dia still facing to the south juga uh, ke? Dia seletak je so, solar tracker untuk ke track sendiri? Okay. Uh, solar tracker tu, that, that solar tracker tu, southern and the east and west will follow exactly the direction of the sun. If throughout the year, If there's sometimes uh, 23.45 like that, eh? maybe there's sometime where where the uh, matahari tu the lain sikit ke apa, dia akan follow you track, track macam tu lah. Dia akan ikut intensity paling tinggi kan. Eh? That's the function of solar tracker. Lah. During the day, of course, they follow east to west. Throughout the the year also will follow the direction. Uh, sir? Yes. Uh, kalau macam dekat solar uh, I nak oh, Solar plan tu Okay Jadi uh, dia punya output per month tu memang berbeza-beza ke sebab kita kan sentiasa bergaut Solar panel kan statik je kan? Hmm The solar tracker one dapat maximize uh, Boleh Kalau standard fix solar panel tu memang ada memang akan berbeza lah output dia tu memang beza Even even though kita letak south to facing certain part pun uh, There's a year kan where the direction of the sun also moving kan And throughout the year kan uh, Sebenarnya even they put fix kan Tapi but still there's um, some time that matahari mungkin ke atas sikit ke tengah sikit Itu memang betul, itu memang tak dapat di, dielakkan untuk fix That's why people are doing solar tracker tu untuk dapat maximum follow-follow Betul tu ada follow Dengan harapan throughout the year tu Throughout the month tu, target is the same. But I, I didn't have that data. Pelan-pelan yang dekat solar pump pekan tu, saya tak tengok lah data tu. Macam mana dia generate setiap month tu sama ke tak sama lah. Saya tak, saya tak, saya tak tengok lah data tu. Terima kasih, Dutai. Sir, saya tak tengok tentang solar tracker, sir. Belum, Dik? Sir, saya nak tanya pasal solar tracker. Okay. So, hari tu, saya ada tengok tu blok yang menteri lah. Okay. Uh, Dokumentari lah. Uh, dia pasal uh, solar farm tapi dia pakai apa machine learning untuk fit dia punya AI lah yang control solar farm tu. So dia kira AI tu dia akan 
dia dia track sun lah untuk dapat uh, maksimum sunlight. So uh, macam tu ke solar tracker dia uh, function? I don't, I don't want to give the clue here. People will copy. <laughs> okay, like this lah. Uh, we take reading. Okay, we take reading. Uh, I cannot give the clue. I mean, can you? It will help you in your solar tracker project. Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't see. Uh, there's some. Oh, no. Method. I I I I I pun dah dah habis habis dah ID. Okay, ada lagi yang dalam ni. <laughs> tahu tahu. Uh, means that oh, okay. Uh, okay, the concept like this. Uh, let's we put sensor. We let put sensor. Ah, uh, uh, tahu clue lah. Ada semua tidur macam mana? Uh, there's some sensor you put several. You cannot make. You cannot take one sensor. There must be multiple sensors that you use. Okay, and then each sensor you have reading, you have reading. Okay, so the sensor for each reading, I believe, maybe same, maybe different. Okay, it can be different between the sensors. And then when you take the different sensors, dah dah, itu contoh mudah, itu contoh mudah, itu contoh mudah lah. The reading is taken lah, the reading is taken, and then the difference of that. They are using the AI, the predict which is the best value, uh, the combination of that. Then that from that combination of certain value, maybe past certain threshold, then it will start to do the condition. It will rotate to the what? Ah, uh, like that. That kind of uh, basic understanding. Okay, sir. No more question. <laughs> no more further question. It's a little bit Ini ada kesti? Banyak sangat tadi solo trick ni. Tak baik tau banyak banyak. Okey, apa sih eh? Kita habis ni ah. Ya. Habis ketiga eh. Alright, okey. Okey. So the the thing angle eh, that was the thing angle. Alright. Okey, the same thing. We have the magnetic knots and the true knots. Okey, magnetic knots is the direction that a compass will point at any given location. It's the same as you use the electronic compass or apps compass lah it's actually showing you not the true knots but the magnetic knots okay the kiblat also definition that 293 yeah 293 degree that one is the magnetic knots okay solar modules must be in line with true knots or geographic knots which is direction from a point on the earth surface to the knots pole along the earth surface uh, do magnetic and true knots should in theory be in the same direction quite often there is a difference between the two due to the division of magnetic flux line at different places on earth that's why the, recently there's uh, some article the electromagnetic field of the earth is moving and eh? it's changing like that so it can change the your 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 direction uh, the compass will be uh haywire huh? if the electromagnetic field is come you know recently they have the solar storm that kind of things uh, that kind of electromagnetic the storm of the tip will totally uh disrupt totally disruption of the uh electromagnetic field of earth and uh, okay but uh that's the magnetic field actually the compass that we use is not to uh showing the true magnetic Okay, but it doesn't mean that our kiblat is wrong. But that one, we our kiblat also will be based on the magnetic knots only. Okay, that's why in Kuala Lumpur the magnetic division is seven degree twenty six watt. What we call this? Twenty seven degree twenty six watt. What's the meaning of this? Radian. Eh, radian. Oh, he's got a pet. What does it mean? This one is degree, eh? Everyone knows, eh? What about this? Huh? Can you answer? Who can answer this? Shaira, do not try. Minute, minute, yes, sir. Yeah. Minute, ke? Ah, minute lah. Ah, tak biasa di Indonesia ni. Semua dia jawab. <laughs> minute. Sorry, sir. Saya tu ingat orang lain nak jawab, tapi tunggu tunggu tak ada orang jawab. Itu, 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 itu. Yang berapa? Uh, 26 minutes uh, 26 minutes so if we want to change to the point 7.1 point what? Macam kira? 7 point what degree 
Twitter at Atlet. Oi, Fatin Adawiyah. Ha, tak ada petik nama sikit. Tak senyap apa. Fatin. No response from the Fatin. Muhammad Irfan. Oi, mana pi dia orang ni? Tidur ah. Uh, yes, oh, ada. Alhamdulillah. Muhammad Irfan. How to convert to point? How much? Seven point? Aduh. Aduh. Tak apa sure. Tak sure. apa sure eh. Kita sebut tadi minutes. So, kalau kita nak tukar pada point, kita nak kena buat apa? From 26 tu. Tak sebab Google, tak sebab Google. Ha. <laughs> kena jawab dua idea. Mesti tahu tu. Khairul Nizam. Minutes? Yeah, minutes. Ya, saya. Ah, macam mana nak, uh, if I want to convert it to the totally degree, it becomes 7 point something something. Okay. 7 point something, but this one showing the, uh, mana ni? 7 degree 26 minutes. So if I want to, Convert it to point something something. How much is it? How, what should we do from the 26? How how you calculate? Read one. From minutes to second, ah, doctor. From minutes to second, ah. Maksudnya, <laughs> 26 bagi dengan darab ke? Ah, bagi dengan aku. Oh, Fatin keluar tiba-tiba. Muncul. Macam sama lah tadi. Ah, Nampak? sama lah. Betul. Macam mana dapat Fatin tiba-tiba itu? Apa bagi apa? Apa darah apa? 26 bagi 60. Ah, 26 bagi 60 je lah. Ah, 26 bagi 60. Then you get the point lah. Betul lah atas lah. Ah, betul lah kot. Eh, kau sampai 0.433 kan? Betul? Ah, ya betul. Ah, yes. Divide by 60. Yes, yes. If you cheat me, then I cheat all of you. <laughs> you make me stay then all, all of you are, are cheated. Okay, like that lah. So that means that true knots is approximately 7 degree 26 minute west of magnetic knots. What we're trying to say here is the, the, in order to get the true knots, we need to have the magnetic deviation. The magnetic deviation is different to each places. Every place is different. In other words, uh, I think, uh, airline, airliners, eh? the pilot, the pilot, uh, I think old school air pilot, they because they facing magnetic knots, but they also, I believe now they have the calibrated one. If the old school one, they use the table, they plan the route, okay, they plan the route, they set up manually like that, eh? to the true knots, to the true knots, so that they know the location of them. But now I think, you know, technology is, is, is better. They are already calibrated ah, to the true knots already. Ah. You can see it from the monitor. So I think there's already true knots, ah, the real knots. Okay. It will change throughout, uh, throughout the path. Eh? Then that one's deviation is different to each other, to each places. So I think it's already calibrated for the case of the pilot. Ah. So that pilot will not mistake. No mistake eh? The old school one, they need to use the map, eh? the multi deviation. Okay. Uh, okay, this is it. Uh, so this is the tip angle. We're not going to the exercise. I think I just go with the basic one. Then we do, we do the exercise next week. Because that one, uh, we are going to touch the critical, some example of critical question. Level high level. Uh, level up sikit lah. To next week. Okay. So this is the angle. And this is the altitude of the sun. Altitude of the sun is, sun is here. Okay and to the surface. So this is the angle of attitude. It's okay lah, alpha or what, gamma. Okay. So we are going to do, we need to calculate the, we need to know the solar attitude first, then after that, we can know the T angle. Because the T angle is totally from here. And the angle is, 
180 minus 90 plus uh, gamma n. Uh, so you take angle very stable. The most important thing, uh, this one, they say gamma, I use alpha also, but this is the solitude. We need to find this. Find this. The, the, find, the finding of this attitude value will be depend on the location of the sign and so on. Okay. Okay, let's go. To, for example, uh, placement of solar module in relation to sun's attitude. Let's assume at solar noon. Assume at solar noon. So we 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 assume it's happen in the solar noon only. Okay, solar noon. Not during the morning. Not during the evening. A flat uh, plate static solar module is placed on the horizontal at latitude twenty three point five degree north, and the geometry is shown in the following figure. I don't know which figure. Find the angle of the module beta at this particular instant, which is a uh, salanun. Okay. Since the latitude of location is twenty three point five degree north, it follows that the attitude angle of the sun is alpha. At this time, we use alpha lah, not the gamma lah. Okay, alpha. So alpha is ninety minus twenty three point five. You get the sixty six point five degree. Then from the geometry given, we can easily calculate the the angle. Uh, it's one hundred eighty minus ninety plus the alpha or the solar latitude. Then we get to get again twenty three point five degree. But this is the very basic uh, basic equation lah. For the case of solar noon, for the case of maybe during the equator, the equator location. Okay, that's the example first. After this, I go here. Yeah, so beta is the Exterior angle, supplementary angle of 180. What? Beta. I don't really understand what you're saying. Sorry. Beta is the exterior angle, supplementary angle. What do you mean by that? Beta is the 180, okay, minus 90 degree minus uh, attitude angle. Wait, wait. Okay. This is beta. The T angle is beta. How to calculate the T angle? This one confirm 90 degree. And this attitude, we are going to find it from now on. Once we get the solar attitude angle, we can easily calculate the T angle. Okay? We must calculate solar attitude first, then we go to calculate T angle. Okay. Okay, as a result of the Earth rotating around the Sun, then the Sun apparently moves between the Tropic of Cancer in the Northern Hemisphere and the Tropic of Cape Capricorn in the southern hemisphere. We already learned last last Monday. Uh, if you still remember, there's a like this. Eh? The sun, the sun direction, the sun direction. This one is in equator. Eh? Uh, equator, and this is Tropic of Cancer, and this is Capricorn. Okay. So. From the perspective of Earth, we can see it looks like the sun is moving. Uh, from the perspective of Earth, we see 23.45 north at the Tropic of Cancer until 23.45 south at the Tropic of Capricorn. That's only the range of the sun that will move throughout the year. Okay, throughout the year. Why it can clash in one place, which is recorded as equinox, two times. Two times, eh? Two times. One uh, left uh, tropic cancer, equator first, equinox, tropic capricorn, again return back, equinox, and again tropic of cancer, then it's rotating, repeating. Eh? Okay. That location, that location in the equator, we call that as equinox. Eh? The sign is over equator is known as equinox, two equinoxes, but two tropics, tropics cancer and tropic capricorn is called as solstice. Solstice or solstice, I'm not sure lah. Huh? Maybe solstice, maybe solstice, whatever. Okay. 
it means that we are going to have solstices and equinoxes. Okay, means we have the summer solstice and we have the winter solstice. But we have two equinoxes in one year. Okay, so other than Tropic of Cancer, we also call it as the summer solstice. Tropic of Capricorn in the 23.45 South, we call also as the winter solstice. We are referring to the Northern Hemisphere. The majority human humankind is on the Northern Hemisphere, very less in the Southern Hemisphere like South America, South Africa, uh, Australia, and New Zealand. But the majority mankind, human humankind in the uh, mankind in the Northern end, Russia, China, Northern Asia, uh, Northern America, Asia, Northern Africa, Greenland. Saudi Arabia, this is all in the northern hemisphere. Lah. Okay. So the sun is just Tropic of Cancer, northern solstice, and the Tropic of Capricorn and southern solstice. Sun crosses the equator at two times. That means the attitude of the sun and the berries at total 46 degrees in total. 46 degrees, eh? the movement of the sun from the perspective of Earth. Okay. Okay. This is the calculation. Um, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Okay, the formula, the formula for calculating the attitude of the sun or, or the sun altitude or the solar attitude at solar noon, we are considered only at solar noon, eh? we assume it at the solar noon only, we are not considering at 6 p.m., we are not considering it at 9 a.m., that's a different story, they need to use the equation of the solar declination angle, which is the one's, uh, uh, other equation, okay, that was quite complicated. For the study of solar irradiant forecasting study, they are using the solar declination angle equations. Nah. But for our case, we are only focusing on the solar noon. Okay? For the sake of the academic uh, in this situation, okay? in our, our scope of, of uh, uh, exam in this uh, subject. Okay? When it is over the equator, when it is over the equator for specified latitude is uh gamma or alpha I, I used to i used to use the alpha lah, eh? even though they write here gamma but it's okay lah, you can anything's okay lah. for the case of equator 90 degree minus latitude in degrees latitude if you have gps please check the n or the s values only don't focus on the e e or w okay we are focusing on latitude only up and downs not to the longitude. Yes, uh, there's a definition of local standard time uh, using the longitude. But for me, I don't focus on that. I'm not. Think, I'm not going to teach that in this part. For me, it's not important for this case. So we are focusing on the latitude. So that latitude one is between north and south. So if you are given the GPS coordinates, please take the value of the n or the s. Okay, which is the value the maximum will go to. Not more than 90 degree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. They want only for the time zone. For me, just looking time zone, whatever lah. Uh. Okay. It's actually, there's, there's part for that. For me, I'm not focused there. I'm not teaching that. You can Google lah. Uh. Uh, the local standard time and so on. Okay. Measure, for example, plus 8 hours from the uh, GMT. GMT plus 8 hours, and. Eh? So, uh, the formula, remember, uh, equator, 90 minus latitude only. Okay, if your location, like, for example, in Pekan, 3.4, so that 90 minus 3.4 degree. Okay, okay, clear. The formula for calculating the attitude on the sun at solar noon still when it is over the tropics or solstices. Whether Cancer of Capricorn is, what is different? The difference at the back. Ayo. Plus minus. Eh? 90 minus latitude plus or minus 23.45. Okay. There will be between plus or minus. How can you know? How can we know which one is the plus? Which time we should use plus? Which time we should use minus? Okay. Determine the exact attitude angle for uh, when the sun is over, blah, 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 tropic is found, there's plus and minus dependent. Okay. 
the plus or minus is dependent on what hemisphere okay what hemisphere you are located and over which tropic either cancer of Capricorn you want to determine the sun's attitude when applying this formula it is assumed that you are facing to the equator that it facing south in the northern hemisphere again the plus or minus from this equation is totally depends on the hemisphere on the latitude of you whether you are in the northern hemisphere whether you are in the southern hemisphere plus which tropic at that time tropic of cancer tropic of capricorn of tropic of equator but for the case of equator there's no plus minus it's zero that's why for equator case no need plus minus at the back no need but for the case tropic cancer and capricorn it can become plus and minus depends on the location and the tropics okay boleh ni sekarang nanti ada, ada contoh ada contoh yang simple okay is it okay Okay. Boleh lagi? Uh, Izzat Imran? Yes, Doctor. Uh, this label, okay? Okay. Mark Kelvin? Yes, sir. Okay. At this label, okay? Uh, now, okay lah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. After this, we are going to uh, to do some, some simple example. Okay. Let's take one example. Okay. For example, Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur, not Pekan. We, we focus on Kuala Lumpur, uh, which is the location is 2 degree 36 minutes or 2.6 degree. Therefore, the of the sun when it's over the tropics and the equator are as follows. So, they are given the question, they're asking all the tropics and the equator. So, both, uh, all the three cases. Lah. Okay, first we consider for the case of equator. We have learned already if equator plus zero means that 90 degree minus latitude of the Kuala Lumpur, mana dia? Kuala Lumpur is 2.6. So 2.6 is the latitude. Then 90 minus 2.6, 87.4. This is very straightforward. Okay, no problem, straightforward. Settle. Okay, next. Tropic of Cancer is on June 22nd or June 21st, whatever lah, between that region lah, 21, until 24, so you can see also in the internet, they write 24, there's some 21, 22, whatever lah, between 21 to 24 lah, I think. Since, okay, for the case of topic of cancer, since the sun is in the same hemisphere as the tropic, the sun is in the same hemisphere as tropic, use plus. Uh, in other words, since the latitude of Kuala Lumpur is the same hemisphere with the location of the sun, use plus. Can okay, understand? In other again, Tropic of Cancer, June 22nd, which uh, 33.45 degree what? North or South? Come on, Tropic of Cancer, North or South? North. North. Okay, North. North and our location, North. Again, our location and the tropic is North. Okay, same hemisphere. It's in the same hemisphere. Then, 90 minus 2.6 plus 23.45 degree. equal to 110.85 degree okay uh all right I mean first we, we settle we settle the calculation we need to plus then plus we get 110.85 but the same explanation here but please don't look at first let's assume eh, kita kita first calculate like this we plus ah same hemisphere add on at both both of the value ah there will be plus 23.45 okay clear then you get whatever whatever you get the 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 what uh the value is okay lah. We just assume plus okay settle. Next, I jump to the tropic of Capricorn. We see 
which is in the December 22nd, you all know already, this is 23.35 south, south, eh? right. Since the sun is in the opposite hemisphere, use minus. This time, it will use minus because the different hemisphere to our location. It's the different, the location of the sun is now in 23.45 south. Okay, 23.45 south. But the Kuala Lumpur location is 2.6 degree north. North and the south is different. When different, we use minus. Then you get 63.95 degree. Okay, 63.95 degree. At this point, understand? Uh, Hasif, Azman. Yes, yes, yes. Faham? Boleh lagi? Faham, Azman. Farhana? Yes, sir. Faham. Boleh faham? Okay. Faham, faham. Okay. I add, no, okay. I add one more information, okay? Altitude, solar altitude is actually the value that less than 90 degree. If you look from here, this altitude sun is lesser than 90 degree. The concept of the altitude must be lesser than 90, 90 degree lah. That's the concept. But for this case, it is now more than 90 degree. Okay. More than 90 degree. Okay. When more then 90 degree tu, there's a term there. Okay. I think I go back to the original idea, not original, uh, the thing come from somebody, Naufal. When we are in the northern, we are facing to the south because we are facing to the equator. That's the basic concept. If we are in the south, we are facing to the north. The basic concept, original basic concept. Okay. Kuala Lumpur is the north. Okay. That's why at the first place we are facing to the south. Kolopo North, at the first place we are facing to the south. Remember, this is facing south towards the equator because the Kolopo is north. So the fact the answer is above 90 is indicating that the sun is actually north of Kolopo at this time. Would you faham tak? Apa maksud dia? Li Yao Men. Can you understand the meaning? Uh, not really, sir. Not yeah. really, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so can you uh, draw or? Okay, the... draw. Say, say, I, I can draw. I can draw a figure. So that you can. Okay. If you look at this uh, literally, if you look at the sentence, sometimes confusing. Eh? For me, it's difficult to understand. Uh, just look at it. It's okay, I, I try to continue it. The attitude of the sun respect to facing north could also be expressed as 69.15. Suddenly become like that. In other words, facing to the south, facing to the south originally, but because the angle is more than 90 degrees, it means it's now turning down the, the, the opposite way. If 90 degrees like this, eh? less than 90 degrees like this, but if more than 90 degrees, facing like this, eh? So facing like this is become the new. There's been a new attitude there. Attitude now because ninety less than ninety degree. When the value original this original is more than ninety degree, it's showing me there's a change of direction. If original facing south, facing to the north, but we need to find another attitude. Where we can find the another attitude? One hundred eighty minus one hundred ten point eighty five. Okay, itu konsep dia. Okay, mari saya lukis. Sekejap. Ini ada konsep contoh tak? Okay. Uh, let me draw eh. Sekejap eh. Sekejap. Lama jadi 10 minit. Semua so, itu. Oops. Eh, jap. Eh. Okay. 
KL 2.6 knots okay 2.6 knots first of all if you see this kind of question okay just now i just explained now this the tips the tips first of, first of all what should we do first of all just draw the the earth huh? okay you draw the earth first first of all assume in this case let's assume the declination angle of the earth is zero farm so say maksudnya let's assume like this oh maksudnya ni go assume like this ah means straight straight original now eh? original like this kan the rotation oh wah buruk ni so dia eh aku ni memang lemah sikit Allah ini macam setan dah pula maksudnya sengit 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 ha, aku nak cerita sengit je sebenarnya astagfirullah dah di mana ni hilang dah alamak tak jumpa mana ni ha, ok ni 35 but let's assume the kinetic angle to zero so this is north and this is south ok first of all you do like this ok and then please draw the equator Allah apa dah ada macam ni ha, ok equator zero pardon for my pardon me for the uh inexpert okay inexpert okay then uh our location where is our location roughly lah sini lah kot okay kl so this is kl kl is 2.6 degree knots okay first of all draw the earth draw the north and south divide it with the equator zero degree and find the location of the question or the location of you which is at this time 2.6 knots okay 2.6 knots okay <sighs> okay first case i just repeat the question they said the sun over the equator if over the equator means that the sun where is it here right correct is here the location of the sun is now in the equator zero degree so we, because we need to calculate the alpha i use alpha lah even use gamma also okay the soil attitude the same thing alpha 90 minus 2.6 latitude ah yeah yes sir alpha is equal to 90 minus 2.6 okay 90 minus 2.6 only then you get how much is it 87 87 point 4 4 facing south south panjang south south eh no tak better still north facing north facing north facing south which one no sebab tak 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 payah tambah kat belakang so if oh. it is topic of cancer so it will be north Okay. We we agree before. If we are in the northern, we have to face into the south. Outer. South. south. Yeah. If south. we are in the southern, at the first place we are facing to the equator also, which is this time is facing to the north. But for our case, it's north. We are facing south. Okay. If facing south, then we can after we get that this kind of altitude angle, then we can simply uh, calculate the T angle here. T angle 180 minus 90 plus 87.4. How much you get? How much you get? How much you get? Hello. 2.6 yes. 2.6 lah. 2.6. 2.6. Please be confident. <laughs> 2.6. Facing the same. Facing south ah. Still facing the south. There's no different. Uh, in the question, if uh, if you are answering the question, you can repeat facing south both. For this case, uh, I think I give one on the uh, facing south. Because both are facing south. Maybe one mark. You can do that. Both so get one mark. Okay. It's okay. Okay. Let, let's let's go to the second one. This is the first one. First case. Very simple. Uh, okay. Second one, tropic of cancer. Okay. Which is the location of the sun now? Tropic of cancer, which which place? 
Where should I put the sun for the second case? 33.45 degree north. North. I think around the area. Boleh eh? Around here eh? 34. So means that sun here lah. Okay. Sun is here. Okay, sun is here. Your location is here. Right? Okay. Let's calculate like the before. Alpha 100, you know, 90 minus 2.6. Next. Plus 23.45. Plus. Plus 23.45. How much you get? Hey, sorry, I keluar the line too. Stress. Oh, Berapa? 110. 110. 84. 85. 85. 4. 5. 5. Serious. Okay lah. Kira betul lah tu. Facing. North. <laughs> North. 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 Lagi? Lain? Farhana. Saya tanya Farhana. Dua kali ya Farhana kena. Farhana. Uh, yes, sir. Facing... 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 Apa? Genung yang kena. Facing north. Facing north. Okay. Ezzedin? Ezzedin? Facing north. Facing north. <laughs> okay. The answer is facing south. Remember, at the first place, Facing south. At the first place, facing south dulu. If you are in the northern, facing south. I'm not calculating yet. We are just calculate and we get the value even though they are more than 90 degrees. Ignore it first. We must base, base on our mind if we are in the north, facing south at the first place. Then we see the calculation more than 90 degrees. Here comes the next step. But the first place, facing south. Okay. Boleh ke? Boleh? Boleh, boleh. Boleh, sir. However, ha, dulu kita bawa main, bawa main however tu. However, however, even if you look at this, yeah, you are here. But your the sunlight is northern than you. That is why. The correct answer, the final answer, the tip angle, or the sun latitude must be facing towards the sun. Sun is now, where is it? Sekarang sun, dekat mana? Which north. 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 Means that the final answer must be facing north by who or by who. That is why, here comes the next step. Recalculating the new, or we calculate the new attitude, solar attitude angle. Because once it's more than 90 degrees, that like I told you before, Solar attitude must be lesser than 90. If more than 90, they ha there will be trick there. There must be trick. It means that there's a transition, the change of the direction. Because once you draw this kind of figure, you can easily understand. Final answer must be facing north, if not facing south. If facing south, there's no sun over there. The sun is on the north. That is why we calculate the new alpha. The new alpha, is the inverse lah, which is the 180 minus 110.85 equal what? Kira jap. How much is it? Uh, 69. 69.15. 69.15. Facing? North. Facing? North. 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 Yeah. Facing north. When we calculate T angle, 180 minus 90 plus Allah, 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 69.15. Much you get? Six, apa? T angle. Kira jap. So, 90. 20.85. Betul ke? 
Is it correct? Hmm. Facing. Yeah, yeah. Facing mana? North. North juga. Ha, saya je tanya. It's still facing North. Ya, aku buat border. <laughs> aku border sikit. Sebab ni kes ni yang ketiga. Understand? Who don't understand? Raise your hand now. Because after this, we are going, I am going to trick you with the high level question for the sake of academy. Any question? Sir, there is a little bit confusion in okay, confusion, uh, facing yeah. south and facing north. And how we can find? Can we repeat it? Okay. okay. Again, eh? Again. First of all, we need to calculate solar altitude. Fine. Okay. Solar altitude, there will be, you calculate 90 uh, that, it depends on the situation. Si situation A, I mean situation 1, equator, there's no plus minus at the back. That's why direct, straightforward, straightforward 87.4 and facing to the south. Remember, because we are in the north, Kuala Lumpur is in the north. First of all, when you calculate at the first place, you must facing south. That's the original thinking. You must facing south. When not, must facing to the equator. Regardless, where is the location of the the sun? The first, first, facing south first. If I put you in the OZ here, I don't know. Is the location twenty seven five? I don't know. Thirty six degrees south. I don't know. Then it must be, it must face to the north. Location is S, facing north. Location N, facing south. At the first place. At the first calculation. Even though we go to the second case, Tropic of Cancer, the sun will be northern than you. Yeah, correct. But the equation is still the same. We just calculate as usual. 90 minus 2.6 because in the same hemisphere then plus 23.45. Then you get 110 for 85. Oh my God, more than 90. What should I do? Relax, still facing to the south at the first. But here, you know the trick already. It means uh, because altitude must be less than 90 degree. It means that there will be change of direction. Because even if we look here at the final answer, finally your module must be facing to the north because the sun is not in the new if you look from here. Eh? If you look, you have KL here and sun is here. So the last answer must be facing now. So what should we do next? We are going to calculate the new so latitude. We have the, uh, okay lah, I put here, depends on alpha new or alpha dash. I put alpha dash, then it's the inverse because changing direction. So 180 minus the original alpha. Then you get 69.15. At this time, the direction already changed from south to the north. That's why at this point, it's now changing to facing to the north already. And then you calculate the T angle, blah, blah, blah. T angle and latitude, it will be the same. It will be the same. Okay, if you get different, you make mistake several in a certain place. So at the end, T angle will be facing north. You are going to take your module towards the north because the answer is there. It's correct. If you draw this line, if you draw this figure, Okay, Bilal, Zamil. Yes, sir. Thank okay. You. Clear? Clear? You. Okay, last, last, last. Tropic of Capricorn. Tropic of Capricorn because a uh, different hemisphere, 2.6 minus 23.45 then you get what is the answer how much is it how much is it 63.95 betul kot tak tahu 63.95 betul ke betul ke yang lain betul 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 facing Oh, sorry, I, I forgot to draw. Okay, case three. Case number three, 
location of the sense down here. Okay. Facing? To the south. South. Lagi? South. No. <laughs> oh, sudah. This word north. Oh, sudah. North. Huh? North. Ah, oh, sudah. You are still, your location not moving. You are here. The sun is over there. Facing to the? South. They, they facing south. South. Still south. south. Still south. Hmm. So, maksudnya nanti dia akan jadi facing nak pula lah. Eh, so, kenapa pula? Kenapa pula? He, Sebab dia tak degree, lebih kan, sir? Degree less oh, than uh, 90. Uh, There's not, no, no change. No change. Okay, faham. Then, you get the beta 180 minus blah blah blah. <laughs> Berapa dapat? Oh, sorry. Itu saya buruk gila. Dapat apa? Apa eh? Tiga setengah. 26.05 Betul ke? Tak tahulah. Betul kot. Betul. 26.05 Facing. Sekali lagi. Facing. South. Facing south. 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 Okay. Yakin. 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 Confident. Facing south. Boleh ke? Nanti ada soalan uh, lagi jahat daripada ni. Ha, ni stay forward ni. Saya bagi soalan lagi jahat. Tengok understanding you, direction tu. Boleh eh? If you are in the north at the first place, north latitude facing to the south. South latitude facing to the north at the first place. Then kalau kira apa semua, lebih 100, if more than 90 degree, don't be panic. First of all, for me, suggestion, please draw this one. Please draw this figure. Don't make mistake. For example, mistake means 2.6 knots but you mistakenly put 2.6 south. Kelas. <laughs> Kelas. Silly mistake, destroy everything. Because it's a chronology, it's related, connected. The, the, the questions connected. The answer. Boleh? First of all, draw. Relax. Relax. Draw the earth. Draw the sphere. Uh, if, you, if you draw the flat earth, I cannot give any comment lah. Hai. You must sphere lah. We must believe that the earth is sphere, not flat earth. Okay? Then, it makes sense. You draw the equator and you put your location. Eh, location. Don't make mistake with that location. Then, locate the tropics. Okay. Like this, they just said tropic of cancer kan. Very simple. I can twist the question. I said summer solstice. Okay. Summer solstice one keyword. Not enough. I think it's not bad at all. It's too kind. Summer solstice at northern hemisphere. Not enough. Okay. Winter solstice at southern hemisphere. It's the same thing. 23.45 degree knots. But I change the understanding of you. Winter solstice at the southern hemisphere. It means that northern hemisphere is experiencing the summer. Is the tropic of cancer. The sun, you can you need to put correctly the sun, location of sun. Then you start to calculate the solar altitude and you start to calculate the altitude. You, you know, you put the location of the sun, then you relax the uh, slow, slow, slowly and you, you, you calculate that. Don't make mistake by locate the, the sun. Okay? The the bad question we are going to do the exercise next week. Okay? Any question? Question, can we can go? I will go for the exercise only for Monday, only for the exercise. Okay, for the next level of question. Any question? No. Boleh faham ni? Ni agak kena faham tu ni. Kena faham tu. Owi, do you understand? Yeah. Boleh. 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 Cuma saya yang buat ha. saya cakap tadi yang bahagian winter apa tu okay. dia sama dengan tropical okay. entah berapa faham. Ah tak apa. Uh, next week I I I I will I will uh, saya akan diskan apa yang lebih kurang bagi understanding. Tak apa. Tadi saya dah sebut dulu. Saya sebut okay. dulu. Tapi next week we are going to do the practice more. Nurwani. Yeah, yeah. Any question? Tadi tadi. Okay faham. Tak ada eh? Ya. Yeah. Kalau tak ada nanti next week saya tanya awak tau. Awak kena jawab. Ha ha. Tak <laughs> <Kat> banyak kan. Okay <laughs> last last. Uh, 
Uh, Afiq uh, Iqmal. Ya, yeah, siapa? Ashraf. Uh, so basically starting uh, apa-apa start dengan equator punya facing lah. Maksud dia kalau KL betul. kat North. Betul. Uh, apa-apa betul. starting dengan equator lah. Betul. Kalau uh, KL North akan pergi ke South lah. Kalau KL tu dekat South, equator akan pergi Jangan sebab KL kau confused. Uh, no, Australia, ha. Australia, Australia, Australia. Uh, Australia. Okay, okay, Australia. Melbourne. Contoh uh. Australia pula dekat South, equator akan pergi kat North lah. Betul. So basically Uh, first place kita lah akan jadi North lah macam tu kan? Betul, untuk kes yang tadi lah, Melbourne lah Untuk ah, kes Kuala okay, Lumpur, okay. Uh, KL is facing south lah Sebab ikut tu bawah kita kan? Hmm. Sebab tu, it's very important to draw this this. Oops. Okay dulu Pak Puan I think if you have question, we are going to ask do uh, interesting practice and exercise next week, okay? Tapi saya lukis tu sama je lah macam hari ni yang saya ah, Sama je, cuma ni, mungkin saya nak bagi next level sikit Soalan yang saya, nanti saya bagi contoh tu ada pas-pas here ah, Jadi soalan tu dia next level sikit Dia tak berakhir dekat bawah tick angle tu, dia ada jahat lagi Selepas tick angle tu ada dia jahat <laughs> Boleh? Next week eh? Boleh? Kalau eh, for those who understand, uh, can PM ni lah Nanti saya blue tick je lah <laughs> tak, tak, tak. Nanti saya reply lah Blutik lah. Lama sikit ke blutik. Okay, thank you. Ya. Yeah. Ha, maknanya kalau dia tak, uh, lebih daripada 90, dia titik lebih daripada 90, maksudnya dia uh, north and south tu dia akan berubah lah. Akan berubah. Tapi make sure engkau tak salah location eh. Make sure eh. Jangan salah letak location and the sun position tu. Kalau mula-mula engkau dah keliru kan, keliru ke, kau pun letak salah. Uh, memang betul kalau lebih 90 degree ni kau tukar tapi takut kau ter- 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 tadi kan Winter solstice at the southern hemisphere <laughs> So after studying this course we can be the solar consultant I cannot guarantee I cannot guarantee Stay early There's, there's a chapter of grid connected If you don't master grid connected You can say yourself at the solar consultant Stay early eh? early stage you need to be the Engineer eh, soalan engineer eh, cannot become after graduate totally become consultant eh, don't be too confident with that eh. Okay Okay, saya anggap tak ada, okay Okay, no question eh? Alright, next week Thank you Alright Okay, thank you Thank you, sir Thank you, sir Thank you, sir